Hello friends, today we are going to see how to print level order traversal of a binary tree. So let's see the example. This is the binary tree and we can print the level order traversal in two ways. The first way is printing in one line and the other way is print level by level. So let's see what it is. As you know the level order traversal of this binary tree is A B C D E F G and H I J K L. So let's write it in one line that is A B C D E F G H I J K L. So we have written all the levels in one line. And the second way is printing level by level. So A is the first level, then B C is the second level, then D E F G is the third level and h i j k l is the fourth level so this is printing level by level let's see the algorithm for both so let's see first printing in one line let's print in one line for this algorithm we are going to use the data structure q now let's follow the algorithm these are the two steps to be followed first step is nq so whenever you are writing the program, you are given the root of the binary tree as a parameter. So we have to enqueue the root. So I have enqueued A, this node A, I have enqueued in this queue. Now let's go to the second step. It says DQ and print. So I have to DQ A and print A. I am printing the level order traversal here. Then the next step is NQ left and right child of the node. So we have to check the left child and right child of A. So the left child of A is B and right child of A is C. So NQ them. So I will NQ left and right child of A. I have NQ'd it. Now see this step is in loop. This is a loop. This loop will continue till this queue is empty. Now let's follow this step DQ. So again I will DQ and print. So print then NQ left and right child of the node. So what is the left and right child of B? Let's check here left child of B is D and right child of B is E. So let's NQ them. Yes, again in the loop DQ and print. So DQ and print. Again check the left and right child. It is F and G. So NQ it. Again DQ and print. Check left and right child H and I. What is the left and right child of uh, D, H and I? I have enqueued it. Again DQ, I have DQ'd this and printed it. Check left and right child. There is no left and right child, so no need of enqueuing anything. Again DQ, so we will write it F. Check left and right child of F, J and K. So NQ it. Now again DQ. So I have to write it. I have to print it. I have printed it. Then check. Yes, left child is not present. Right child is L. So NQ it. Now again follow the steps. So DQ h so i will write h but there is no child to h so no need of nq then dq so i i doesn't have any children so no need of nq again dq j no children so i have to write it here and there is no children so there is no need of nqing k no no children L no children and now 
this q is empty there is nothing to dq this q is empty now so we are done with our algorithm and we have printed the label order traversal in one line let's go for the second method that is printing label by label here the fundamental question is how to identify labels how to identify that a is in the first level b c is in the second level d e f g is in the third level so i will tell you how to do that the algorithm is here n q root the first step says that n q root so n q root i have n q it then it says n q null yes this is the step this red rectangle represents a step which enables us to distinguish in labels so whenever a label is over we are inserting null or whenever a null is encountered that means a label is over and we are going to the next level let's do this so nq null yes now this next step is p is equal to dq p is a pointer now which will point to the dqed node so now when we say p is equal to dq the first node to dq is a so p will point to a yes now uh, after dqing print so i will print a so let's go to the next step now nq left and right child of p so nq left and right child of p so it is b and c so i will nq the left and the right child of a yes so again now the, as this step is in loop just ignore the red rectangle here i will tell you in the next iteration so again you go up and dq so when we dq again we get null and this is where this red rectangle tells us that if p is equal to equal to null means when we dq now null is transferred to p so we cannot perform this step in queuing left and right child because p is null so what to do when p is null so here it is stated if p is equal to equal to null this means you have to change the label this means you have to print the slash n character means you have to go to next line to print the next level so the next line to print the next level and you have to nq null so when you encounter a null you have to nq an another null this takes care of the next level see here bc is the next level and after that we go to the uh, further level so as we go ahead i will tell you when we encounter this null i will tell you the significance of this null so let's go ahead now so in this loop again p is equal to dq so we will dq b and as slash n is there so we will go to the next line so b is printed we have dqed b and printed b then nq left and right child of p so p is b now p is pointing to b right now so what is the left and right child d and e let's nq them now again let's go to the previous step p is equal to dq c is dqed what is the left and right child of c f and g i have enqueued them now again go to the uh, first step that is p is equal to dq so dq yes now we got null this means if p is equal to equal to null change level this means this level is over this bc level is over 
and we are going to the next level now and nq null now you remember when we encountered this null why we entered this null we entered we enqueued this null to uh, to make sure that we trace the next level so now we enqueue another null here so it is we have enqueued an another null here now again go to the first step that is p is equal to dq p is equal to dq dq so next line so d is printed what is the left and right child h and i it is enqueued again dq e uh, print e what is the left and right child there is nothing so again dq f what is the left and right child j and k so enqueue it and write f here again dqg what is the left and right child there is no left child but there is a right child that is l so enqueue it and write g in the output yes now dq you got the null when you get null you know the level is changed so slash n go to the next line and nq another null nq another null i will write it like this i have enqueued another null now again dq so h is dqed write it here no children i is dqed j is dqed k is dqed they don't have any children h i j k l okay after this step when we dq we get null we get this null then we know that this level is over so slash and go to the next line and nq null nq and another null in this so i have enqueued and another null in this q now when we dq we get another null which means i have got two nulls this is the first null and this is the second null i have got two nulls consecutively continuously and when we get two nulls continuously we know that all the nodes in this tree are traced and our algorithm is ready to come out of the function means we have printed all the nodes when we get two nulls cons consecutively or continuously we know that we have completed the execution this is the breaking condition of this algorithm this is the breaking condition of this program so we have printed all the levels line by line or level by level so this is how you write program for level order traversal hey friends please subscribe to my channel as i post algorithm videos every day and if you want a video on any particular topic then please mention in the comment below thank you